Doge, SHIB, Pepe, and WIF have already proven to the market consciousness that these things can go to five, 50, or even $100 billion valuations. The same person who predicted Bitcoin will explode back in 2018. I like to describe Bitcoin and sort of this entire sort of phenomena as a grand wealth transfer event. And I believe that it will be arguably the single biggest wealth transfer event in human history. He's now predicting a meme coin super cycle larger than we've ever seen. I'm here to talk about the meme coin super cycle, why it's happening and why it will continue. The meme coin super cycle is not just a prediction about the future. It's already happening. I wish somebody would have sent me this video back then in 2018 when Bitcoin's price was less than 4K. I would have bought so much. I think politicians and dictators and sort of these fringe third world, second world individuals who will need this currency perhaps more than anyone else. High net worth individuals, more sort of edgy, open-minded, tech savvy institutions, and eventually government institutions will, will push this to the extreme. The, these are big numbers you're talking and you realize that very few people in the world believe what you believe right now. I realize that. I like to joke that essentially the people and the institutions who Bitcoin was designed to destroy will be precisely the people who will drive Bitcoin's price and Bitcoin's success to the sky. Now he's predicting meme coins are the next big bet. If you study past cycles, the things that outperform in the first half of the cycle is the same thing that outperforms in the second half of the cycle. We've seen this with Ethereum. It pumped in 2016, it, it pumped twice more in 2017. Verge, pumped in 2016, pumped twice more in 2017. Solana, pumped in 2020, pumped twice more in 2021. You've even seen this with NFTs, pumped in 2020, pumped twice more in 2021, right? So this momentum is important. And I believe that the meme mania, quote unquote, we had in March of 2024, I think that was just the first of the three pumps. And I think there's two giant pumps coming in 2025. Everybody has it so wrong. What actually makes a meme coin, not just pump, but rally again and again and again and become a cult and become a movement. Murad has finally shared the secret formula that he uses to catch the next explosive meme coin. These are the factors that I believe actually matter to catch the next outperformer. Community, poor people getting rich, perceived maximum upside, token distribution, attention, fairness, organic price discovery, eliminating class warfare and bitterness within the token holders, no unlocks, no supply overhang, focusing on new coins which can enter price discovery and avoiding old coins which have backholders, price action, obviously, positive momentum, evangelism and community participation, where can you buy it, authenticity, holder growth rates, no VCs and VCs having to buy at market, no cabal and cabal having to buy at market, who the whales are, who the KOLs are, who is talking about this on social media, obviously the concept and the meme itself, the message, decentralization of all kinds, cultiness, people not selling, emotion, a good story, it needs to be a good narrative, the freshness of the narrative. You want people to want to be a part of that thing, that group, that movement, inspiration, trends and cultural zeitgeist outside of crypto, participation stickiness, and probably the most important is what I call free call labor. And notice how not a single one of these has anything to do with software or revenue. These are the factors that actually matter. I believe that there's one meme coin right now that fits more of these qualifiers than almost any other meme coin on the market, including new, including cultiness, including maximum upside, attention, holder growth rates, message, the chain, the whales. I'm talking about Tron Bull. Bull is an altcoin daily channel partner. I urge you send this video to somebody who's looking to find new meme coins. Post this video in the group chat. Reap the engagement. And speaking of whales, we had Tron founder Justin Sun on our show last week. I was shocked. Justin Sun is actually hugely bullish on Tron meme coins. That's why I believe meme coins definitely will become like one of the major asset sector in the space. He says we all saw stable coins explode on Tron. I think meme coins are going to explode on Tron like stable coins did. People, everyone like loves Tron, loves settle their transaction on Tron. So it is very successful. And uh, I think right now we are just basically doing the same thing for meme coin. But I think we will definitely become the go-to place for uh, meme coin in the space too. So Tron Bull is a top meme coin on Tron. This character is actually the official Tron mascot. Tron, Justin Sun, they promote this character all the time. Now, to the meme coin, it is a new project, which is good. 
but they also have a lot of momentum. I actually see this holders number growing more and more every day. If you think memes are going to grow, if you think Tron is going to grow, this number is probably going to get a whole lot bigger. And by the way, when you look at some of the whales on this thing, there are some early Brett whales who are really pushing this. They're trying to put this meme on the path of Brett and put this meme coin on the map like Brett. Every chain, every ecosystem is going to have their own meme coin that represents them. Brett is base, SHIB is Ethereum, SNEC is Cardano. Why can't Tron Bull be that for Tron? I mean, what even are the top meme coins on Tron? I haven't seen one shine above the rest. I can't think of one great one offhand. When I researched the top meme coins on Tron, most of these names I don't even recognize. Sundog, Blake, Sunpeppy, Invest Zone, Tron Beer, Sun Lion. Like, I'm sure some of these are pretty good, but all I'm saying is one has not really rose above the rest yet. Something as connected as Tron Bull has that opportunity, particularly with the backing and the story that it has. Definitely check out the Twitter, guys. The, the Twitter is growing strong. They put out, you know, good meme content. Their videos like this, to me, they come off as a little bit different, a little bit more ethereal. It just seems like they have a lot of people posting about them and they are posting a lot of stuff themselves. Almost 7,000 community members in their Telegram. I would think if you participated in the Telegram, you would actually, could actually get interactions from the leadership and be part of a growing community. Process to acquire this is simple. You get the Tron wallet, you link it up to the DEX, which is SunSwap, or also there's available options here. Hey, save this video and you tell me in the future if this meme coin turns into anything. Is Bitcoin even having a future in the future? You tell me. Guys, check out Bulltron. I'm going to leave links to all this stuff in the description. And remember, the best meme coins actually have more utility than almost all tech alts. What do they offer? Having fun, loneliness reduction, identity, hope provisioning, friendships, being a part of cutting edge culture, sense of belonging, a guild in the MMORPG that is crypto, experience of teamwork, greater sense of participation. They are what DAOs were supposed to be. Relatability, emotional connection, mission and meaning, entertainment and being happy, charity, collective artistic expression, collective imagined reality, storytelling and lore building. If you look at the top 20 new memes, it's only 8 billion. That just all of the new memes are still cheaper than a single VC-backed vaporware, right? So altcoins are 800 billion, Unlocks are 155 billion. Memes overall are 40 billion. I don't think Doge and SHIB matter anymore. The new stuff is 8 billion. That is unbelievably cheap. And money, especially retail money, it naturally wants to pump something that is easiest to pump. And that is going to be the new memes. Every cycle, the crypto asset category that outperforms the most is the one that is new, weird, and misunderstood. And parabolas are much more likely to occur in assets that are difficult to value. So not having a revenue is actually an advantage.